The Enforcement Directorate on Tuesday morning started simultaneous searches at multiple places in West Bengal in connection with its investigation into alleged embezzlement of Manrega funds. While the residence of a former block development officer or BDO was raided in Salt Lake, uh, in one of the blocks in Salt Lake, the personnel of the agency were also conducting searches at the house and office of a businessman in Chinsura in Hooghly district. Searches were also being conducted at a property linked to a state government employee in Bharampur in Murshidabad district. The former BDO was posted in Dhanyakali in Hooghly district. My colleague Ratnadeep uh, Chaudhary is reporting on uh, the several ED searches that are happening in West Bengal as well. Uh, tell us, Ratnadeep, a little bit about what are the ED officials trying to zoom in on? That's right. In fact, this morning, uh, this several uh, searches, uh, multiple searches have started by ED officials in at least four districts in West Bengal. Uh, now, what we know uh, for sure from ED sources is that uh, raids have taken place uh, in Salt Lake near Kolkata, Bharampur in Murshidabad district, Chinshura in Hooghly and in Jhargram. Uh, now, uh, what we are hearing that these searches are taking place at the residences of uh, civil servants who are linked with uh, the Manrega uh, scheme. Also, uh, former uh, panchayat officials officials, panchayat functionaries. Now, the timing of this uh, raids is very important because this is for the first time that ED has started uh, you know, conducting raids in relation to the alleged uh, uh, you know, uh, misuse of uh, Manrega funds. Uh, there are FIRs which are with ED, uh, but this is for the first time they have acted and they have acted uh, uh, this, uh, according to ED sources, they are looking at uh, the allegations and possible misuse of funds. Now, uh, remember, uh, this raid comes close on the heels of the dharna that uh, Mamta Banerjee, West Bengal Chief Minister and Trinamool Supremo did on February uh, 3rd and 4th against what she claimed that, you know, centre has not been uh, uh, paying the pending dues which are in tune of uh, 7,000 crores uh, for Manrega uh, funds and, uh, and that dharna, uh, she clearly said that the allegation against the state, uh, state government have been uh, are false and that centre had sent several teams uh, to cross-check and yet uh, the uh, dues of 21 lakh beneficiaries were not uh, uh, you know paid and therefore mamta banerji declared that the state government will go forward and pay the dues on february 21st so uh, many uh, would see it as a very hard stand that uh, the state government and mamta banerji has taken uh, against what she claims that center is uh, not paying up the dues uh, of the poor people and uh, therefore, uh, remember yesterday, uh, leader of opposition uh, in Bengal, uh, BJP leader Shubhendu Adhikari had uh, gone to New Delhi. She had, uh, he had met uh, Union Finance Minister Nirmal Sitaraman and also Union uh, Home Minister Amit Shah. And after right. returning to Bengal, he categorically said that some action would be, take, uh, would be taken. And then within hours this morning, uh, we see that uh, ED has started this raid. Uh, Trinamool Congress again hitting out at centre, calling uh, these raids as uh, politically motivated. Remember, this comes ahead months ahead of the Lok Sabha elections where Mamta Banerjee had sh uh, already uh, shown her intention to go solo. She had attacked the centre as well as the left and the Congress in past in the past uh, uh, few public meetings that she had uh, right. you know undertaken. She had attacked uh, the uh, BJP as well. And in fact, uh, what is important to note mm -hmm. here uh, that. Uh, now, it seems that with this f uh, first ever raids on the Man uh, Manrega case, mm -hmm. it seems Manrega is going to be the new uh, flashpoint between uh, the uh, centre and the uh, TMC uh, in, uh, in West Bengal. So, the heat clearly is on uh, several government officials because of this Manrega scam. Thank you very much, Ratnadeep, for joining us.